Good morning from Galway. It is 10 a.m. right now. We didn't vlog yesterday because we didn't do anything yesterday. We just kind of sat around the hostel and worked on some vlogs and a blog post. Today we've got a fair bit of a drive. We are heading up to County Donegal, I think it is, to Carrick to go see Sleeve League. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's alright. Those are all words that she said. Yes, they're all words. And our accommodation is up there. It's a four hour drive. So we're heading off now. So foggy today. Is that snow out there? Could it be? We're like 45 minutes or so away from our accommodation. It's 2.40 p.m. We've stopped to fill up the car and have a snack. Bananas from a few days ago. I like my bananas green. <laughs> Gross. It's too green. I don't think I want to eat it. No, it's good. I like it green. No, because you can't peel them when they're green. You put it up from the bottom then. Like a monkey. Yeah, well, I'm not a monkey. Or I'm do not... it from the, put it from the side and make it look funny. Gross. What? Ew. <laughs> Gross. I'm not eating that. Oh, I heard it snap. No, I can't eat that. Scissors, paper, rock to see who has to go to the bin. Okay. Scissors, paper. Scissors, paper. <laughs> no. And we are in Carrick now in County Donegal We're at our accommodation which is called Sleeve League Lodge And it's just on top of a bar which I actually wasn't expecting It's just a little room Totally gonna hit our heads on this thing at some point I can, I can definitely see that happening So out there's the front door you come in. <laughs> you just did it. You said you were going to do it and you did it. <laughs> okay, now we continue on. There's the bed and the stupid wall. I hate that wall. And then here's the bathroom. So far, not good. Poop. Yeah. Don't fall, camera. I hope that's straight. And now it is the next day. We have our breakfast. We we just got went to Centra. Croissants. So healthy. Cinnamon scroll. And a yogurt scroll. thing. Yogurt and oats. Crunchy clusters. And that place was meant to have breakfast, but it was just like some cereals. And then the guy left the milk out, and we just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, it didn't look very good. And we're hoping they had some hot food somewhere, but they didn't. I miss like little cafes and stuff where you can get something yummy mm -hmm. for breakfast. But oh well, cinnamon swirls. And now we're going to go to Sleeve League Cliffs. After we've had a cinnamon yes. scroll thingy. <laughs> The, the place that we stayed at seemed more like party-ish than anywhere else we stayed at. Even though all the hostels we picked, we made sure weren't like known for being party hostels. There's a big group of drunk guys at this place and it's so loud. I could hear them walking around on the streets just screaming and they're like swearing all night. And, yeah. We like to party. <laughs> we stayed up till about 10.30pm last night. And we watched three episodes of The Chase <laughs> and one episode of The Crown. We know how to party. Mm, that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to show. You peel the thing and then you can pour the yogurt into your yogurt, your oats and stuff. Oh, I see. Stopped at this little stream to take some photos and Keith is... Uh, Somewhere up there, he took the tripod with him, so it could be here for a little while. I'm just waiting in the car, because it's cold. And I thought while I have this time, I may as well show where we are on the map, in case you didn't know the geography of Ireland. So that's Dublin there, obviously, and we have driven all the way around, I mean down and then around. Now we're up here, 
just enjoying the scenery. Looks amazing. All right, we've made it to the parking lot here at the Sleeve League Cliffs. Um, you can drive up. It's about a half an hour walk, and I think we figured we're going to walk up there because uh, we've got the time, and it's going to be a really nice walk. And it's actually really spectacular around here. I think it could just be a really nice walk, so why not walk it? It's already worth the walk. There's sheep here. I like these sheep. I like the ones with the black faces. Yeah, they look cool, don't they? This is like a minute into the walk, and it's already looking spectacular. Could go all the way up, though. I'm already out of breath. <laughs> you just found this along the walk. I don't know what it is. Do you look through it? I don't really look at anything. There's a sheep down there. Don't know what it is. It's a mystery. Probably like 10 minutes into the walk now, maybe. Maybe only five. I don't know. I uh, saw so the first view of the ocean we've gotten. And there's sheep everywhere. They must live out here. Must be their land. The ocean's so calm though. It's so flat. And it's actually not that windy or cold up here. Although we're sort of on the top of a bit of a peak. We're on the top of a bit of a peak now. So maybe yeah, the wind picked up a little. But it's not that cold. It's actually quite nice. Good day for a walk. Come on. I'm coming. I'm just taking photos. Ow. Don't fall. Try not to fall to my death. If I do fall, make sure you get it on camera. Okay. Ow. There's another one. Pictures. And there's pictures on this one. It's a cow. Yeah, it is a cow. What does it mean? Let's look out beyond it. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. Look at all the sheep. They're nearly there. You can see the car park up ahead. Look at all this fog. Makes the mountains look so cool. I don't think that was half hour walk. No? Yeah, it felt, it felt shorter than that. Maybe like 20 minutes? Yeah, I thought 20. Or maybe it just means we're so fit that the recommended time thing is too... Like we walk faster than the recommended time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so fit. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. That's my I theory. Sprinted up the mountain. Bounded even. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Found the viewing platform. You guys ready for this? So at Sleeve League now, and these are these cliffs are meant to be. I think twice as tall as the Cliffs of Moa. There's an information panel that w what looks like a meteorite hit it and there's a big hole in where all the relevant information is. Mm -hmm. And it said the cliffs stand at 19 something something talls. So it's 19 something something <laughs> tall. I'm not sure how tall that is, but the bit of information said that it was the tallest sea cliffs in Europe. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how tall it is because there's a big hole where it says the actual height. So I'm sorry about that information. And then there's like a five hour walk that you can do here. Up that path. And you go see a bunch of coves and stuff if you follow that walk around. And there's went to this part called the One Man's Pass. That's like got cliff, nothing but cliff on both sides. And only one person can walk through it. Yeah, I remember reading about that. Yeah, if we had the time I would definitely do that. But we don't have the time to do that. So I was going to enjoy looking at the cliffs. Even from here, it's really hard to tell how big it is because you're actually a bit far away and the ocean's really far down and it's really hard to get a sense of scale. But I think it's pretty big because you can barely hear the waves crashing. So the camera might not do it justice, but it's really high up here. So, yeah. And I might walk just a little bit up that path there because I can get to the top. So I might get the view from up there quickly. These are the cliffs. It doesn't, I think the fog also kills how like tall it is because you can't actually see the top of all of them. So I think the one that the fog's covering directly ahead here is the tallest one. But if you were down there, it'd be really tall. 
Maybe a zoom in might help. Zoom. As far as I can zoom. That's the sleeve leg. I think that's how you pronounce it. Just been calling it the whole time. Got such a steep climb ahead of us. But I think it'll be worth it up here. This is what we're walking up. Uneven stones. Does it look cool here already? Told you it looked cool. Ooh, look at that view. And there's nothing here that'll stop us from falling to our death. Don't fall. <laughs> Holding on tight. Holy crap. It's a long way down. Oof. Nothing down there to stop you from falling. Great spot for it though. Woo that was a rock there. Never mind. We made it to the top. Yay! Back down there. Over there is the car park right there and we've walked along for those people going we walked up there and all the way up there's a view of the cliffs and over this side there's a little lake and the walk keeps going but we're not gonna do that yeah I would love to keep walking it because I feel like you get an awesome view from up there but I don't know, we don't have a long time here. You get like a full sense of the scale of this thing when you start walking up. Because you know, it's not that far and you thought it was pretty impressive down in the little area. But we're so far above that area and we're nowhere near the top of this cliff. So you get a real respect for how big it is when you get up here. Pretty impressive. Now for the precarious walk back down. Stay. Trying to take a photo of you. Okay, I'll take a photo of you, but fine. But look at this guy. He doesn't care how close we are. Look at his horns. I think he's gonna turn and just attack me though. I don't think he likes me. Now it's just a short four hour drive to Dublin. <laughs> gonna make sure we don't accidentally go through Northern Ireland. Even though it's faster, you can't do it. Good, good evening, everyone. We've been here in Dublin for a little bit. Well, just a, we're actually staying a bit outside of Dublin. Um, probably, like, I don't know, 15 minutes out. I don't really know what the place is called. There was no street number or anything at this place, so I don't know where we are exactly. We're just out of Dublin. We're going to be staying in an Airbnb with a really, really lovely host. Um, had a nice chat with him and yeah, he's been very helpful and told us what's in the area, what where to eat, told us what time we should be leaving for the airport tomorrow. He's going to make us breakfast, which is really nice. Um, we've got to get up at about 6am because our flight's about 10.30 and we've got to drop our car off, so... Um, and he said he'd make breakfast at about 6.15, so we've got an early start tomorrow. Dally's brushing her teeth, so I might do the room tour for once. This is the door to the bedroom. And there's the bed. And... I don't know, Sally's so much more better at this than what I am. We've got stuff everywhere because we've been packing. We're flying with Ryanair. And we're just trying to make sure all our baggage is correct because we don't get hit with any unnecessary charges because we've heard how bad they are. I don't know, wasn't much to say about the room. Like I said, Sally's better at that. There's like a little lounge room next door that we can sit in, and there's a we have our own private bathroom. Uh, we're bothered going out there. Host is really nice, he made us tea when we got here, and yeah, probably gonna go to bed because we've got an early start. This will probably end the Ireland part of our tour. 
So I'll probably also end the vlog for the day then, may as well. Um, we're heading to Scotland tomorrow. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see what we go to in Scotland. Bye.